What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. This is Charlie Ling. Hey, you! Wherever you are now around the world, how are you? Are you okay? How's everything? What about Bitcoin? What about mining? What about crypto trading and, and everything? Man, let's just take a look at this. Can you believe it? This has just happened. In the past few days, we have seen the Bitcoin going all the way down. Well, I don't know if it's illusion or not, but in the past one or two years, to me, Bitcoin is always on the most promising side. The Bitcoin value is always on the high side of the spectrum. But what we have just seen in the past few days, it's like a waterfall. It's like tap water, totally. Look at this. So before I want to do this video, the title I want to set up for this video is speaking at 33K. But look at this now, 32K. It never disappoints you, you know? Yeah, it never disappoints you. Whenever you think the Bitcoin is rising, it can reach up to a number that can completely blow you away. But when it is crashing, it can crash to a number that can really give you a shock. What are we doing? Having a blast on a roller coaster? Okay, in today's video, I just want to talk about three things. The first subject matter is to take a guess at the value of the bottom of Bitcoin. The second subject is I can introduce to you two more miners. The last thing is to give you some updates on some of these miners that we talked about in our previous videos. Okay, going straight to number one. What do you think would be the rock bottom of this Bitcoin crash? Again, I'm not Mr. Satoshi Nakamoto, so I don't think my answer would be making any sense at all. But I can forward you some guesses from some of my friends. My best friend in the United States, he has been mining and investing in cryptos for almost 10 years, maybe more than that. So he told me it's definitely going to be below 30K. And my best friend in the UK and also one of my best customers, he thinks the Bitcoin is probably going to be testing at 20K. It means the number of 20K is going to be a very important threshold. And thirdly, my friend in China, Mr. Bitcoin Watch, he thinks the bottom of Bitcoin is going to be 25K. What about you? Which value do you think would be the bottom of Bitcoin? Are you going to buy more cryptos this time? Are you still going to keep mining? And if you have never done mining at all, will you ever consider starting mining? Or if you have never invested in cryptos or you didn't know anything about cryptos until this day, will you ever consider buying a few cryptos? Please give me your answers on the comment section. I'm sure it's definitely going to spark a few really interesting conversations. Okay, after taking a guess at what the worst could happen, let's try to analyze what could be the reasons leading to this massive crash. I'm not a big guy on crypto mining or crypto investing. So I asked some of these minor manufacturers to give me an answer. My contact point from Ipolo says the reasons can be many. The top reason could be about Ethereum switching from proof of work to proof of stake. And I know for sure this is not the first day we hear of this shift, but maybe to this day, this kind of concern has become the highest. And they also told me whenever there's a crypto themed conference or trade show being held around the world, there's going to be a big crash. For example, in the next few days, we're going to see the largest expo for crypto and blockchain in Southeast Asia to be held in Thailand. But I think this is bullshit. We had many, many conferences already. Why this conference? <laughs> What's wrong with Thailand? And also the third reason they told me is in this whole Bitcoin investing and mining industry, there is a bigger than before perception of this entire industry being rigged by some of these influential people. Just like the same thing happened with the stock market. I also consulted with Avalon. My contact point with Avalon told me he thinks the big crash could be because of the US financial policy. He says in the recent days, the US government has increased the interest rate by 0.5% the highest of its kind in the past few decades. Okay, if you really want to ask me about this, I think the big crash is due to the low profitability of mining. I mean, these Bitcoin miners and all these other type of ASIC miners have been on a really high side of the spectrum. <laughs> mining is not profitable. I mean, mining has been profitable for quite a long while, but if you sell me these miners at this kind of high price, it's not profitable. So there has to be a change. I mean, the consumers and buyers in this market have been asking for lower prices for these ASIC miners, but there never has been a quick response. The crash in the hardware market is too slow in response to the crash and the Bitcoin value. 
what about you? Do you agree to my analysis? I really think the low profitability of mining is the biggest cause. So this kind of high price is not well supported. It doesn't have a lot of backup. It is a very, very high tower built on thin air. In Chinese, we say Kong Zhong Lou Ge. It's a very, very high building in mid air. So it's full of doom and gloom. <laughs> it's like the end of the world. What can we do about this big crash? Again, disclaimer, please don't take me as a financial expert. But my suggestions developed from advices I hear from a lot of people who I think are experts are if you do mining, probably you can hold your minor purchases for a while because the ASIC mining market may eventually crash. So you probably are going to be able to buy cheaper miners. So don't buy in a rush. You can wait for a moment more. In Chinese, we say let the bullet fly itself for a while. I hope that you can buy your miners at a much, much better price than before. Okay, if you don't do money, but if you do trading or investing, maybe you can apply dollar cost averaging strategy. You can keep buying cryptos, including Bitcoin, in small portions over a long period of time. But of course, in times of big crashes like this, you probably can buy a little bit more. You can lower your crypto purchase cost in a big way. Maybe you can buy $100 per day or $1,000 per day in the next few days. But of course, if Bitcoin hits 20K, make sure you buy as much as you can. However, I'm really not a financial advisor. I'm just a little guy in China hoping to create some videos interesting and helpful to you. Please definitely make sure you do your due diligence and deliberation really, really carefully. And it's your decision at the end of the day. Eventually, I hope everyone will be happy. Happy mining, happy investing, and happy hodling. Okay, pretty much finished with this Bitcoin crash analysis. Let me move on to introduce to you two more miners. The first miner is YM miner. In Chinese, we say Yami. Yummy miners, <laughs> or you can say it's a very, very yummy miner. I mean, it tastes so good. 